Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the second video on oil and gas accounting and we will solve exercises on allocating and classifying cost to be expensed or capitalized. We are going to solve exercises on generalizing entries and preparing income statement and balance sheet under the successful efforts method and complete equity method. Please like, subscribe and share my channel to search for accounting lessons and hit the notification bell button to alert you for the latest video. For all of your questions, comments and suggestions, please put them in the comment section below and for webinar and guest speaker invites, please send me a message at accountingamir at gmail.com accounting is a k we hope that this video help students in their academic development and teachers in enhancing their lesson plans and teaching methodologies we also hope that this video help fresh graduates who have joined the oil and gas companies and want to refresh their learning on allocating and classif classifying cost as to be expensed or capitalized and how to record journal entries and prepare income statement and balance sheet under the successful efforts method and complete equity method. Let us start with an exercise on allocating and classifying cost to be expensed or capitalized under the successful efforts method and full cost method. Please refer to my previous video to know about the rules for generalizing transactions under the full cost and successful effort method and the method uh, and preparing the income statement and the balance sheet under the two methods. I am using this template or rather we are going to use this template for solving all the exercises in this video. You can see over here that the GNG cost is expensed under the successful effort method and when GNG cost is expensed we are going to debit G and G expense. We are going to debit G and G expense and this is important because under the successful efforts method G and G expense is going to be recorded in the income statement and not in the balance sheet. While under the full cost method the G and G cost is capitalized and here we are going to record it GNG cost as GNG cost and not expense because under the full cost method the GNG cost is going to be recorded as an asset in the balance sheet. So indicate whether the following cost should be expensed or capitalized uh, depending on whether the company uses successful efforts method or the full cost method and the first one is acquisition cost and acquisition cost is capitalized in either case so they are capitalized and then we have the GNG cost and GNG cost is expensed under the successful effort method and capitalized under the full cost method. Then we have exploratory dry hole. We follow the same rule. It is expensed under the successful efforts method and capitalized under the full cost method. Then we have successful exploratory well. And in either case, it is going to be capitalized. Then we have development wells dry and development well dry are capitalized again in both the methods. 
then we have development wells successful and development well successful is capitalized in both the methods production facility cost now this is a production facility cost and if it is facility facility in both the methods it is going to be capitalized but the production cost is going to be expensed next let us solve an exercise on generalizing transactions under the successful efforts method but i would just like to add one thing over here uh, that we are going to use uh, in this video that is the d d and a expense depreciation depletion and amortization and this is going to be expensed in both the methods next let us solve an exercise on generalizing transactions using the successful efforts method and we start with the first transaction the cost of uh, you see we are going to use the same template the cost of um, g and g activities to locate an oil prospect is 120000 and we are following successful efforts method and under successful effort method g and g cost is expensed so the g g and g expense is debit by 120000 and cash is credit by 120,000. Then acquisition cost for a 500 acre lease. Lease bonus is $60 per acre. So 60 times 500 is 30,000. And other cost incurred in acquiring the property is 3,000. So that makes 33. So this is an acquisition cost and this is a unproved property so unproved property is debit by 33000 and cash is credit by 33000 then we have dry hole cost of an exploratory well and for a dry hole again it is going to be expensed so dry hole expense is debit by 324,000 and cash is credit by 324,000. Then the cost of production facility, then we have the successful exploratory well and if it is successful exploratory well then it is wells and equipment debit by 418 and cash is credit by 418 now since this acquisition is successful so at this time we have to reclassify the unproved property as a proved property so proved property is debit by 33000 and unproved property is credit by 33000 then cost of production facilities now these are production facilities and production facilities are capitalized and not expensed so wells and equipment is debit by 225000 and cash is credit by 225000 then we have the production cost and production cost is expensed so we have production expense debit
and cash is credited by 81,000. Next, let us solve an exercise on preparing income statement and unclassified partial balance sheet using the successful effort method and the full cost method. So we have the revenue, we have the income statement where we have the revenue of 225. So revenue from sale of oil that is 225,000 and under the full cost also it is 225,000. Then we start with now acquisition cost is capitalized. So we are not going to record it or rather let us put it in an order acquisition cost. is capitalized in either case. So we have 30,000 and 30,000. Then we have the G and G cost and G and G cost is expensed under the successful effort method and that is going to be 80,000. And we don't record under the full cost G and G cost is capitalized under the full cost method so we have 80,000 over here then we have exploratory dry hole and exploratory dry hole and exploratory dry hole is expensed for 1,500,000 and under the full cost this is going to be capitalized so we have exploratory dry hole uh, 1,500,000 then we have successful exploratory holes and successful exploratory holes are capitalized successful successful exploratory um, holes 350000 and 350000 then we have development well dry and development well dry is capitalized again and development wells dry is 200,000 Then we have development well successful and again development well successful is capitalized. Successful it is 475. Then we have cost of production facilities and facilities are capitalized again. production facilities that is 250,000 and 250,000 then we have debt uh, acum uh, dd and a dd and a is a expense so we have dd and a depreciation depletion and accumulation amortization it is 55 and 125 so the 
then we have the production cost and production cost is going to be expensed in either case and production cost is 60,000 and now we make the total this is the revenue and the total expenses are 1695000 and 185000 and the net income In the case of successful effort method, there is a loss of 1,470,000 and 470,000. For full cost, we have 40,000 as our net income. Then we have accumulated depreciation and accumulated depreciation is going to be subtracted. Accumulated depreciation is 150 and 360. So this makes the total as 1,155,000 and 2,000,000 is 125,000. <clears throat> Next, let us solve an exercise on Journalizing transactions using full cost method and again we are using the same template and we start with the first general entry now under the full cost method uh, G and G cost is going to be capitalized so we have G and G cost let me So we have G and G cost and not expense 80,000 and cash is credit for 80,000. Then we have lease bonus on a 1,000 acre is 90. So that makes 90,000 and other acquisition is 4,000. So 90 plus 4 is 94 and this is unproved property unproved property is debit by 94,000 and cash is credit by 94,000 then we have dry hole cost of an exploratory well and dry hole cost is capitalized again so we have exploratory dry hole four hundred and ten and cash is credited by four hundred and ten thousand then we have successful well cost and if it is successful it is wells and equipment is debit by six hundred and fifty and cash is credited by six hundred and fifty and don't forget that uh, once the exploration is successful, we are going to reclassify the unproved property into proved property. So, proved property is debit by 94 and unproved property is credit by 94. Next, uh, we have a cost of production facilities and put production facilities are again capitalized under the full cost 
so even for the successful efforts so wells and equipment is debit by 390 and cash is credit by 390 and then the last one we have the production cost and production cost is expensed so production expense and not production cost is debit by 38 and cash is credited by 38. Next, let us solve an exercise on preparing income statement and unclassified balance sheet by successful efforts method and the full cost method. And we are also going to explain the difference in the net income. So again, we start with the income statement and uh, we have the revenues and the revenues are 600,000. Then we have the G and G cost and G and G is going to be expensed under successful efforts method 600. Then we have exploratory dry hole that is expensed. Exploratory dry hole and that is 4 million. Then we have the production cost. rather expense and that is 100,000 then we have the accumulated uh, amortization um, of for 2019 is 200 and 400 so that is D D and A and that is equal to 200,000 and 400,000. So the total expenses are 4,900,000 and here it is 500,000 and the net income In the case of successful efforts method, there is a loss of 4,300,000. And in the case of full cost, there is a net income of 100,000. So let me explain the difference, why we have this difference. The, you can see that the GNG cost and the exploratory dry hole are expensed under the successful efforts method of accounting and they were capitalized under the full cost method of accounting and at the same time the DD and A expense you can see was higher under the full cost method of accounting because greater amount of cost is going to be capitalized under the full cost method so this is the reason uh, of difference and we can see that you see we have g and g cost or the expense of 600,000 under the successful efforts method we have dry hole cost or expense of 4 million and then we have the difference in the dd and a expense of 200 it is recorded 200,000 less so the difference in the net income is 4,400,000 next we are going to prepare the balance sheet and you can recall that we do not record the okay we start with the uh, with the g and g cost 
not under the successful and for the full cost it is 600,000 then we have the acquisition cost of 2 million and this is capitalized in either case then we have the exploratory dry hole and this is capitalized under the full cost that is 400,000 then we have successful exploratory wells and that is three three uh, three million then we have development well dry and that is 1 million then we have development well successful 800 and both are going to be capitalized so we have development well successful 800 then we have production facilities that is 700 it is going to be capitalized in either case and finally we have the accumulated depreciation we have accumulated depreciation or d d and a depreciation depletion and amortization that is 500000 and 700000 so the total is 7 million and 11 million 400000 next let us solve an exercise on journalizing transactions using the full cost method and when it is full cost again you see we are going to follow these rules the first one is cost of g and g cost and the g and g cost is going to be capitalized so it is g and g cost and not expense 120,000 and cash is credited by 120,000 then acquisition of for a 500 acre lease at the rate of 60 so 60 times 500 is 30,000 and then we have additional other acquisition other cost of acquisition 300 so we have a total of 33 and this is a unproved property and this is debit by 33,000 and cash is credit by 33 then we have dry hole cost and dry hole cost is going to be capitalized again so we have exploratory dry hole that is three exploratory dry hole 324 and cash is credited by 324 then we have successful exploratory well cost so this is wells and equipment debit by 418 wells and equipment is debit by 418 and cash is credited by 418 don't forget that once the exploration is successful we have to reclassify the unproved property as a proved property so proved 
property is debit by 33 and unproved property is credited by 33 then we have um, cost of production facilities and again this is a, a development cost and this is going to be capitalized so it is wells and equipment debit by 225 wells and equipment is debit by 225 and cash is credit by 225 finally we have the production cost and this is going to be expensed so production expense is debit by 81 and cash is credited by 81 let us do one more exercise on generalizing transactions and in this math case we are going to use the full cost method and under the full cost method we will follow these rules so first of all we have the gng cost so gng cost is going to be debit not expense gng cost is debit by 82 and cash is credit by 82 then we have the lease acquisition cost and this is unproved property is debit by 90 and cash is credit by 90 then we have the exploratory dry hole cost and exploratory dry hole is debit by 500 and cash is credit by 500 then we have the successful exploratory well so that is wells and equipment debit by 600 and cash is credit by 600 and just again keep in mind that once the exploration is successful we have to reclassify the unproved property as a proved property so proved property is debit by 90 and unproved property is credit by 90 then we have the development well cost for 200 for 200000 so again it is wells and equipment is debit by 200 and cash is credit by 200 then we have production facilities and production facilities is capitalized so again it is wells and equipment debit by 85 now and cash is credit by 85 and then finally we have the production cost and production cost is expensed so production expense is debit by 49 and cash is credit by 49 Finally, let us see how the journal entries will differ if we use the successful efforts method. We have used, we are using the same question, but rather we follow full cost. We are going to record under the successful efforts method now. And under the successful effort method, first of all, GNG cost is going to be expensed. So GNG expense is debit by 82 and cash is credited by 82 then we have lease acquisition cost so unproved property 
property is debit by 90 and cash is credit by 90. Then we have the third one that is dry hole and dry hole are going to be expensed now and not capitalized. So it is dry hole April 2 dry hole and expense is debit by 500,000 and cash is credit by 500,000. Oh, sorry. Uh, what are the dates? Oh, this is January 23. Then we have the, this is February 1. This is April 2. And this is April 20, April 20, uh, 29 now. So, we have successful exploratory exploration so wells wells and equipment is going to be debit by 600 and cash is credit by 600 I missed a road because uh, we just keep in mind that if the exploration is successful, we have to reclassify the unproved property as a proof property and we have to add one more general entry here. So I'm just recording at the bottom. So we have now the proved property is debit by 90 and unproved property is credit by 90. Then we have uh, uh, August 19, 19th of August, we have production facility. So it is well and equipment. Uh, there is one more here that is July 1 okay on July 1 so this will be July 1 the date and on July 1 this is well and equipment is debit for 200,000 and cash is credit by 200,000 then we have august 19 i'm sorry the for the template this should be added over here and this is production facility august 19 so again this is well and equipment is debit by 85 and cash is credit by 85 finally we have the production cost and this is going to be expensed so production expense is debit by 49 and cash is credit by 49. So this completes the exercises on allocating and classifying cost as expensed or capitalized. We have done exercises on generalizing transactions and preparing income statement and balance sheet under the successful efforts method and complete equity method. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation and if you found value in this video, then please like, subscribe and share my channel and hit the notification bell button to alert you for the latest video. And one last thing before I go, if you have any questions, or suggestions for future topics or any feedback please put them in the comment section below and for webinar and guest speaker invites please send me a message at accountingamir at gmail.com remember effective questioning brings insight which fuels curiosity which cultivates wisdom 
I hope you have um, enjoyed this presentation and you found value in it. Thank you so much for watching this video and happy learning.